Hey y'all, I'm Val with Our Forever Farm. Today we're doing a dish that my granddaughter share with me, Alyssa, we call her Dita. She is a great cook. I have two granddaughters and they are great cooks. Dita got me this shirt. It says Granny and then it's got all, their, all six of their names on it. I love it too. So today all we need is two one pound pork tenderloins. Now you can buy those with the seasoning on it. We're not buying, we're not using the ones with the seasoning. We're buying uh, one that is just neat. So uh, this was $6.59. It's almost two pounds. So I, I'm not gonna, you know, use another one. I'm just gonna use both, just this, because it's almost two pounds. We're gonna need olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna need salt and pepper. And we're gonna need barbecue sauce. And that's it for this dish. Now we are gonna make another dish, and so stay tuned for that. Watch all the way to the end. You never know what'll happen here. So let's get to cooking. Now I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425. I'm doing the meat first. So, and I always check to make sure nothing's in my oven. The other day I opened this one, and it had toast, butter, ready for a meal. Go figure. So. I've been outside working today and outside in the yard. I've been doing uh, flower pots. I haven't been in my garden today. You know what? This is two. It's split right apart, so that is two. Yay, that's good. I wonder why they said two one pounders and this is a, it's 1.92, so that's almost two pounds. So, and it says two one pounders. So we've got our oven preheated to three uh, to 425. Sorry, y'all. I just came in. I'm hot. Uh, we're gonna place the pork on a lightly greased uh, baking sheet and brush it with oil. Okay. So I need to lightly grease that. Haven't done that. I'm reading the recipe as I go. I have not made this, but uh, the family says it was wonderful. So, I lightly grease that, and then we placed it on a lightly greased, rimmed baking sheet. So, this sounds good to me. And we're gonna brush with oil, and we're gonna brush it with about two tablespoons of oil. I do not have a brush, so I'm just gonna pour about a tablespoon on each and rub it with my hands. So, I'm gonna just put the olive oil on there like that. And then I'm gonna go wash my hands. Sweet Hunter had cataract surgery yesterday. It's his second one. He did great on the first one. Evidently he's doing great on this one. Now we're just gonna salt and pepper it. It says one half teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of pepper. So we're just gonna guess at that. On each one. This seems so easy, don't it? She said it was. And they said it was delicious. We're gonna bake this for 15 minutes. While this is baking, we're gonna go ahead and start our side dish. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get two jalapeno peppers and we're gonna slice them. Now I'm gonna go wash them and then I'm gonna get my gloves. It got burnt by jalapeno seeds. Jalapeno seeds, you know what I'm talking about. So let me go wash these. So this says to slice the jalapenos, you wanna remove the seeds. So I'm just gonna slice them like this and then I'll remove the seeds after jalapenos. So I'm just gonna slice these like it says to do. this but I always if I want to remove all the seeds or most of the seeds I rinse them off just in my hands bounce them around shake them around and then you might see a seed here here or there and it don't matter if you like hot stuff this will be fine uh, and then I lay them on a paper towel to dry 
They don't have to dry completely, but that's a Have start. I told you what all it takes for this side dish. It's not much. This is cilantro. I do the same thing with it. I wash it really good, get it ready to chop. You're gonna need a half a cup of cilantro. I love cilantro. Let me get the other ingredients and show you what we're gonna need. Let's start over on the side dish. So you, we know you're gonna need the jalapenos. We know you're gonna need uh, cilantro. I haven't told you we're gonna need frozen corn. It calls for 12 ounces. It calls for katia, and I think I'm saying that right, katia cheese. This is a cow's milk cheese. It was named after a town in Mexico, but it is a cow's milk cheese. Cotilla, I think. Cotilla. And I might be saying it wrong. Y'all know me. Mayonnaise. Lime juice. Garlic powder. And pepper. That's all we're going to need. So we're going to start out. We're going to cook the corn and the jalapenos in hot oil. Oh, I forgot olive oil. We're going to do two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan. And we're going to cook them over medium heat for about eight minutes. It's not going to take long at all. I wanted to empty this one because I've, it's just about finished. So it says about two tablespoons. That might be a little much of olive oil. So we're gonna turn this onto a medium high heat. Let's see if our olive oil is hot. We're gonna go ahead and put our jalapenos in. This is 12 ounces of frozen kernel corn. We're just gonna stir this around a little bit. Just to cook it for about eight minutes. So we've got our tenderloin in the oven cooking. We've got our corn and jalapenos on the stove over medium heat, just cooking. And now we're gonna chop up our cilantro. It says we need a half a cup. you chop this, but I think this will be fine. Let's go back over to the stove. Does that look good? Y'all just wait. I've already heard it. It's just delicious. So this is an easy meal. Just put the meat in the oven, basically, and make this side dish. And that's all they fix, I think. I almost fixed the salad, but I thought I'll just fix most. I've got a little of my Dutch oven bread left, and I thought I might just fix some toast with it out of that. Yeah, we want that corn and jalapenos just to be lightly brown. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up the rest of the recipe. We're gonna put in six tablespoons of mayonnaise. That's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of lemon juice, uh, lime juice, I'm sorry. And you can real, use real lime if you want to. This is a two tablespoon measuring spoon. I'm gonna check on our corn. So I just read where it says to put this in a medium sized bowl. So I guess I need to change bowls because you're gonna add the corn mixture to it. Mmm, smells good. This, to this medium-sized bowl, I hope this is a medium-sized bowl. <clears throat> so our meat is, the timer went off on the meat. Let's see, I'm gonna see this. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Can y'all see that? Let me get it down here. Look at that meat, don't it look good? And we'll go to our corn, so you can see where the corn is turning brown. Oops, my timer's going off. See the brownness? I think this is ready. 
we're gonna go ahead and do our meat while our corn's finishing. It's just about done. And we've about got the mixture, the sauce that goes on the corn, in the corn, done. A cup of barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven for five to seven more minutes. It's still on 425. I think that sounds so good. So we're gonna finish our sauce now. So what we're gonna do is pour this into the sauce. So now we're gonna add the cheese. Cojito, I think, is what I looked up. And they said we're adding a cup of that. So we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna add our cilantro. And it says about half a cup, so I'll use about half of that. And see how it looks. This looks delicious. Oh my goodness. Smells delicious. So I snuck a taste of this. I think you're gonna love it. If you like cilantro and jalapenos and corn, oh my goodness, it's just delicious. So I asked Alyssa if she served, uh, served this warm with her pork tenderloin and she said yes. I imagine it'd be good cold too, I'm just guessing. But this is delicious. You know what I think would be really good with this is some chopped up bacon. I've got to fry my bacon for, I try to do it ahead of time. So I've got to fry me up some bacon where I'll have some bacon done because I would throw a handful of that in there. Don't you think that sounds, sounds good? You gotta try this, it's so good. Let me get that meat out. So the directions say to make sure your meat is at 145 degrees and then you'll know it's fully cooked oh my goodness oh let me just set it down and show y'all look at this meat oh my goodness i probably put a little too much barbecue sauce in there but it will be good it also says to let it stand for three minutes before serving and slicing slicing and serving i should say don't this look good Well, there I go again. I didn't, I thought I had the video on and I didn't. Does this not look delicious? I'm gonna turn it around and get the other piece cut. So good. Look at this. Better get that fork closer to there. It's tender, easy to slice. What a good meal. I've been working outside all day, so this is a great meal for me to fix and have to eat. So that's all I'm gonna slice up. Does that not look delicious? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So let's go ahead and fix him a plate. Ooh, that is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot and tender. I still think those tortillas would be just delicious on this. And then, we'll serve this on the side. Look at this, oh my goodness. Does that not look good? Mm, mm, mm. So, I'm gonna taste of some of this on his plate. 
That is so good. I've already had some of this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's delicious. Y'all need to try this. It's really good. I don't tell you something's good if it's not good. I love it all. It's delicious. That's all you need. Mmm. Next time I'm going to try it doing the tacos. I think that will be good. So. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you. Try that. It's delicious. Easy. Like I said, I was tired. I didn't want to cook today, but I wanted to fix this. Look at this. Mmm. She'll love it. I always try to encourage you to cook something. Cook something at home. I mean, try new recipes. Follow me. If you're in a rut, follow me. Y'all go cook something. Y'all are gonna love this.